Hi everyone, so um, thanks for being patient with me as I um, just get uh, more videos done. It's a bit tricky homeschooling, my wife being at work and um, just having the time to do absolutely everything that I do normally when there's no lo lockdown. So um, I'm going to be putting loads more videos kind of, you know, here and there, hopefully and get more done next week. But I thought I'd just do the second part of Buzzsaw today. Um, so I know my Monday group and some of my Tuesday group have been doing this one. So if you're like, well, I know I know the first bit really well. Here's the second bit. So here we go. So I'll go through the first bit we know quickly, um, and then we'll go through the uh, second bit. Hopefully, you've got the paperwork for this. If you haven't, get in touch. So. And also use the videos that are available on YouTube for this song. So here we go. So see that. Two, three, five. Okay, a couple little mistakes in there from me, but that's human, so it's all good. So let's try the second page. Second page, this lovely little riff at the start, where you're doing a hammer from one to three. So you're doing a hammer on there. A hammer is when you play this note on here, and then you put your third finger down, or whatever fret you're supposed to put your finger down. So you've got one, three, there's why, that's why there's a curve on that second page between one and three, it means hammer on. Then you play one again. Then you hit the G string after that, so you got. And then after that, it's easy because you do naught and then three again. So you got. And you play that twice. Then after you've done that, you go to the string above on the third. Okay, nice and easy, not too hard. Then after that, you're going to play your G and your B as noughts. There we go, just like that. So you go up. open, then you do this, which you've actually done I think, yep you've done that in the first page where you just on the three, on the G, and you're going, so you're doing a pull off aren't you, you're doing a pull off from three to naught, and then three, three again, okay, so do that. So, so far you've got Then you do the open notes again on the G and the B So far, that's what you've got Let's try again Okay, so that's that bit done By the way, this song sounds a lot like the theme tune to an old comedy program from the 90s called Friends. Your parents will probably think, wow, I recognise this, that's where it is from, it sounds quite a lot like that. So yeah, that's the that's the bit of the uh, second page. So, so far the whole song would be like this.
guitar is slightly out of tune, so let me just make sure it's in tune. Okay, second bit is the trickiest bit of the song. Finger per fret has to be really on it with this. So you're going to go, I'll just play it to you, how about that? <laughs> Bit faster then. So what you're doing is really, you're playing an open on the, the D. So you could have your next finger ready, which would be your second finger on the second fret on the G. So you're playing the naught, then you play that one underneath. Still out of tune on that one, I don't know why. So again, you're using this kind of three-fingered kind of thing that a lot of times you will play in, uh, in you know, in songs where you go. So it's really important to have those singers working really well. So, okay, naught, two, three, one, naught, two, three, one, three. So it's basically the same pattern but with an extra three on the end. So you're doing naught on the D, two on the G, then three, one on the B. So, naught, two, three, one, using all the fingers and keeping discipline. Second bit, naught, two, three, one, three. Try that. Again, I'll do it slowly. Second bit is tricky as well, because then you go to this third fret uh, on the A string. You do that, and then you've got to jump over this D from that A to get to the G. So you're going to do three on here, then naught on the G. You might think it's easy, but you've got to do it fast. You've got to jump from there, you've got to jump from there to there. So I just jump right, yeah. You're going to miss out that one, that's the hard bit. And you're doing 3 1 again on the B, so you're basically going 3 here, open on the G, 3 1 on the B string. And then after that, you're doing something you've done already, you're getting on the G string, and you're going 3, pull off 3 3. There we go, so you've got this. And then you've got this open G and B. And again. And then after that you're playing the D and the G open. And then you are placing your fingers on the bottom strings and flicking up on those. If you look at that paper, that makes sense. So from the top of that bit. Guess what? Because there's lines at the start of that bit, um, what I'll show you now, because you've, um, let's make sure I'm not holding it upside down, because you've got lines here, so naught three, so naught two three one, naught two three one three, three naught three one, three naught three three, da da, three naught three three naught da, and then there's lines there, so that bit to that bit. You're repeating that bit twice. So yeah, so up to that point, let's do that second page. Here we go. Sorry about that. 
Okay, so really up to that point, um, you can get away with playing the song on its own. After that, there's this weird bit where you are playing a few little bits, but over the top of another piece of guitar. So in this song, when you listen to it, you will have other guitars playing away to help you with the structure. It'll be playing away like the drums, the bass, and another rhythm guitar will be playing, you'll be playing over the top. So at the end, you're gonna be just doing a couple of little things, but you've gotta be almost playing along with the song for it to make sense. So what I mean is, you've come to the end and you've gone, and then in the song, you'll have this rhythm in the background going, you're going to be playing some bits over the top so what I'll do now is I will play that again but I'll verbalize where you're going to be playing these bits because you've got this bit which goes that's what you're playing but how are you supposed to know where you're playing that if you haven't got something to go by so verbalizing the bits I've just played over the top of the rhythm I'm playing on guitar so so you would actually play what I just sang. Sometimes I can get away with playing both, but I don't recommend it because it's quite hard. It'll go like this. That's a bit wonky. But yeah, so there we go. So now um, let me play through the whole song so you know how it sounds. Here we go. Enjoy this. See if you can play along. that if you want to play along with there is a button on YouTube where you can actually slow my playing down so you could bring it down there's three dots in the corner of the screen boop, boop, boop. and that will show you if you want to uh, change the speed you could look down to 50% or 75% and then you could play along so I hope that's been uh, helpful for you guys lots to do enjoy playing through this and maybe next week I'll throw a new song on there for you to do so enjoy bye <laughs>